What does mean by DUT? Device under test. Device under test. Somebody will call DUC also. D device under calibration. Don't confuse DUT and DUC. It's okay. one and the same. Okay. Yeah. So, so all this are is the same. defibrillator machine. This is the DUT. We are using DUC. a defibrillator we'll right connect now this for testing. To this. Okay. To yeah. our device. Then only you can complete the circuit. Okay. Then light, light. switch on. It will take some self test. Just wait for a moment. Then take the photograph of that. What it is okay. showing? What is this? Fault, Fault detector. Why? No, no ground or no isolated mass detector. Huh? Okay. So you need to first of all correct that thing over there. Yeah. Mains, huh? Yeah. This is the problem in mains. So let us, we have to do we the test. We'll no, start, actually huh? for the testing purpose. So we'll otherwise, this should not show on the display. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, okay. Now you can see what, what the problem is. It will show, it will no, show it the will, problem. It will come. No, it will tell you. It no, 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 no. Select the test. Now, actually, you have to select the test. What is the set, uh, test you need? Okay. Now it is actually standard is being it's used. Right. Now see what the problem is here. You can see live to neutral is 225. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then live to earth also should be same. Yeah. But see this is a 53. Mm. So that means your ground has a problem. Mm. Low, neutral to earth. What should be the uh, neutral Less to earth? Five. What should be that? Huh? Less, Less, than Less than 5. So how much is this? 32. 32. This is a problem. Okay. So once you correct it over here, then it should give correct reading over here. So the fault should not come on the display. That is the main thing. Huh? Then let us do this one. This is a resistance. See, here this. resistance when you want to do, you have to zero the leads. This way. Why actually has to be done, zeroing has to be done? So, all our engineers. Uh, it is like offset, so we can start. So, this also has resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, correct, correct. To nullify, to make to it nullify zero. this. Okay, yeah, yeah. so we do it like this. Then we make the zero leads. Okay. This okay, and then we take it to earth potential here. This one, where is that? Sometimes you don't find, but no, 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 you can't find it. 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 You can't Okay, let's keep it here. Huh? Bus, 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 chodo, chodo. Okay. Hello. How much? Mm. 0.062. How much should be the value? You know? 500. Huh? 0.8. Mm. <laughs> resistance is how much? 0.8 milli. No. 0.05 ohms. No. 0.03. 0.03 ohms. Okay. But it is showing 0.06. Why it is? Because if you uh, change that ground, whatever is the fault is there. And I hope this is okay. Okay. Yeah. So once you rectify that, it should be okay. Correct? 0.03 So this one is this one. It's because of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, test, test it's because it. of that only. Yes, no, no, sir. Now we test it. Then zero point zero six. Okay, it's, it will it will happen once you change that. There will be error because of that because it is reading. Really no, because it is a loose okay. connection is floating. Right. It is giving okay. that. Okay. Then, so then we see. Income. What is this? Mega ohm. What is this? What do you mean by this? First of all, you need to identify what is this. This is V is voltage. Huh? Yeah. What we have checked line and all. This is protective earth resistance. Yeah. Huh? Ohms is okay, but yeah. it's a protective earth resistance. earth resistance. Mega ohms is. Insulation resistance. Insulation resistance. We are measuring that, no? Yeah. A is current. current. What is that current? Earth. No. It's a ampere. Ampere. Like ampere. current consumption. How much current? How much it is taking? Okay. So you will come to know. Sometimes you know manufacturers are saying it's one ampere. 
our uh, this thing is 0.1 ampere consumption current consumption whether it is 0.1 ampere you can cross check from here you will see just now afterwards so micro amperes is what is that touch current this is a leakage current leakage current okay so what is this this symbol you might be knowing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no this is ecg you can have a ecg you you attach 10 uh, 12 leads here you can see some simulation but this is not 100% for that you have a this one you can do all arrhythmias here huh? but this is just to reference like your monitor can show triangle square okay see, why actually okay. another place what we put this here is we use mega ohms at 500 volts dc we pass the current by using that your defibrillator or monitor should not fail yeah. for that we need to check the ecg once we cross check whether it is ecg here around 12 arrhythmias available you can do that some of the tests like triangle wave form sinusoidal uh, sine wave all these things you can test so that it your comfort that equipment is working that's only the reason we put it's so as a rule it's what we have given is yeah. functional test uh, mega ohms okay this is insulation resistance voltage huh? then you have connected this now you have to select as per the standard it is showing 500 volts or 250 volts okay so 250 volts every machine can pass correct no but 500 that means you have to see whether this will withstand suppose agar there is a fluctuation in high fluctuation you know 500 volt dc your equipment should not fail on patient correct yeah so what we will do is we will apply the current change voltage 250 250 is normal but this is bpl they are using i know if there is any product which you are not confident see the manual tell their engineer can we put 2500 500 because otherwise what will happen this will go up so you have to be sure okay so let us do it 500 then start test don't touch because when it is showing red it is giving high voltage okay just wait it will pass OL is equal to mega ohms. What is this? Open load. Open load is open not load this is over load. This is over limiting. Over okay, that means this is good. It has very good insulation. See, less than two mega ohms. If any machine will give a reading less than two mega ohms, that is a fail machine for mega for the insulation resistance. About two mega ohms is very good machine. Okay, and if it is because see the uh, the range of this machine is 100 mega ohms how much mm -hmm. that means this machine is reading above that that is why it is not showing the no. value if it is having 98 mega ohms it will show the value but it is going above the limit that means it's a very good installation so can you okay. explain like from where the 500 volt dc is this going one, this is okay check more go more change voltage it will change to 250 or 500. So it is supplying from this yeah, rope yeah, yes. to the earth? To this, okay. And point to point, okay. Mm. Again, volt DC. Yeah. And how is the circuit? Because uh, now we are checking so that there is no leakage on the chassis. Or like leakage, what, that is what, different. What that is, is different. What it is, what is it withstanding? Like where is, this is passing 500 volt DC to the earth. This is two, is that, two. Is that? 500 volt it is giving Clean from it. here. <coughs> Please understand, this is 500 volt is a DC current. Yeah. yeah. This 500 volts when I press start, test, yeah. okay, wow. see this light on. The current goes, goes from this to this. This to this. Oh, okay. okay, it is okay. going here. 500 volts and then it gives. Means it, it is actually limit should be 100 ohms should be a minimum. Mm -hmm. If it is showing 98 ohms, it is fine. If it is beyond 100 ohms, mm -hmm. means this resistance is beyond 100 ohms, equipment will always show OL. Ah. Means your equipment is good. A limit of less than 100 ohms is always a problem. That is what been shown. This is what actually you are going to put DC current, not AC current. Please remember that. Current or voltage? DC current. Volt voltage, this is voltage. Volt Volt DC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, DC and one more thing, if it is above 2 mega ohms, what I am trying to say is, above 2 mega ohms, is your equipment is pass. If it is 1.5 mega ohms, or less than 2 mega ohms, then your machine is failed. 
Okay, insulation resistance is not proper. So we want to confirm something. Uh, previously it was giving this. See, this is the See, they carry 0.2 amperes. Mm -hmm. But you can check the manual. If they say 0.1 or this thing, then actual is good. But normally, sometimes what is happening, if you put a load, then it may go a little higher. So this you need to see. Idle this is idle mode. This is without uh, operation. What's the resolution for this? How much can it displace? Can it go beyond this? This is uh, 0 0.2 ampere only. No? It is reading and actual. Correct no? one it is reading. Connect this one. See, color coding is there. Huh? Post color Why coding. See, this is, you can see leakage, you can see anchor, this one, enclosures also, whatever we have told, huh? that touch current. Yeah. Huh? Patient auxiliary. See. Mm. It is showing one by one, okay? Mm -hmm. This one, you can take it from here, see. If you want second lead, that oh. means this, one, two, three, four. Lead by lead, you can check the leakages. Huh? Then you have to refer to standard. Actually, yeah. what whatever the booklet we have given, no, yeah, yeah. there is a mentioned yeah. in that. Just refer that and pass it. This one, AP, no. That's all. Yeah. Copy one. Applied parts. These are applied parts. Yeah. Applied yeah. part. What do you mean by yeah. applied part? Which goes on to the which is which is which is applied operator. on patients. Yeah. Like suppose this is applied yeah. on patient body. Yeah. This is applied. This yeah. is applied. This is applied. Yeah. Part, yeah. Huh? yeah. I am applying this on patient body. This should have no leakage. Yeah. So, ECG I am showing you. Can come here. Simulation. 